what up what up aquarius i hope you guys are doing wonderful hold up aquarius let me put some oil i was gluing some bottles and hand deep in glitter and i just stripped all that off so my hands are a little bit dry let me go ahead and oil them up for y'all let's see so aquarius happy october you know how we do this we are going to start with the bones and the curios first and then we're going to move into the tarot for some further confirmation and then we are going to follow up with the life coach oracle to kind of help us navigate the messages aquarius all right let me get all these little charms in is that it yes Aquarius 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 for October spirit what do we have alrighty Let me throw that back in was that the only one okay so some of you you may have gone and done a relocation you might be planning on doing a relocation but there's something that's changing in the scenery and it looks like it needs to um some of y'all i think you outgrew a, a, a space or an energy or the space or the energy outgrew you and you could still be stuck so i feel like for some of you there's going to be this push to like move let's do something different let's head somewhere else it's crossing over into your family or to your home sector and there's three of cups which means there's options for some of you you could be moving someplace i feel like some of you this could be an investment property or there may be something where you're making money within this home like a home-based business maybe you're working remotely maybe you are remodeling a home for an investment you turn it into an airbnb um there's something that is going on with bringing some type of money in for some of you. Also, could be that you're selling the house because there's a relocation. So you might actually be getting something together because it's like we're going to sell it. But it looks like some type of investment property. I am getting the sword with cutting something off. Um, and then we have double head and we got somebody that is not moving forward some of you you might have been in a relationship where it's like okay it's really not what i want i feel like that you're dealing with somebody that's kind of spicy or they're stubborn or they want things their way and it could be i feel like that this person um i, I don't feel like they're committed now devil head could be somebody that is just a challenging relationship for some of you, there may be that you're trying to start something, a home-based business or something where you're making money within the home and the person in the home or within that energy is not working with you. For some of you, you could be moving away from this energy. I would just say be careful of being taken advantage of just because we have the sword there. And for some of you, this is like I'm defending myself. So you might even be, some of you might be dealing with a relationship where you're constantly having to defend who you are and what you're doing and what's going on you could be dealing with narcissistic energy um for some of you, you could just be dealing with somebody who's very controlling if this is not um you dealing with this energy you might be that energy in a relationship it's a general read but i'm definitely feeling like somebody that is controlling i also feel too that you need to be careful that you're not being taken advantage of by somebody that is controlling now if this is somebody that you're splitting a resident with a residence with and say you're going through a divorce or a breakup and you've purchased a house or a condo or something like that and you can't sell this without this person or this person can't sell without you there's some manipulation that's going on with that so i would say if you aren't in this situation already if you're moving in with somebody or investing in a property with somebody please make sure that you're covered with that because I feel like that somebody is going to try to manipulate something with the real estate. Just because we have the sword, there's a conflict. Spirit is also showing there's a conflict coming in. We have the bullet casing. We definitely have jealousy or evil eye energy. 
some of you you might be falling out with somebody because you just don't even think the same way the cross is kind of like being at a crossroads and this could be that your belief system doesn't mesh with somebody your ideology of life doesn't mesh with somebody or you just have a differences differences of opinion now this is crossing over into your home sector so this ha it doesn't have to be a a spouse or a romantic relationship this could even be with family where somebody's looking at you and it's like i don't get you i absolutely just don't get you some of you i feel like that somebody's questioning questioning your ability to make money and i'm not sure why could this be a roommate situation where maybe you were living with someone and you weren't paying your part of the bills if this is not you then it's them because there's something that where money is being questioned hmm all right let's move on maybe it'll it'll fall into place the bad spell work is necessarily that negative there is some of you might be dealing with a situation where there's a female around you that is wearing a crown or somebody is getting recognition that you feel like you should be getting. I don't know if this is with work. Um, this also could be somebody looking at you and being like Aquarius is taking all the energy away from me when people should be looking at me. But I kind of feel like this is you Aquarius because somebody else is trying to wear the crown. So you might be dealing with a female that comes back in and either your perception is this female has some type of star power or the recognition is on top of them or everybody loves this person or everybody's looking at this person. What does this person have that I don't have? Now, if this is somebody that you work with, it could be a competition of projects and this person trying to, you know, one man you up or one up you or whatever, where it's like, you know, their presentation may have all these bells and these whistles and you're looking at them like, what the fuck? Like, what is this bitch doing? Some of you might be looking at that energy. If not, this definitely is a competition with somebody else where somebody could be competing with you. Could this be with work? One part. Could this be in a relationship? Yes. Could this be that maybe um, you feel like that somebody else is trying to come into your energy and push you to the side? Hmm. Your eyes are honest, so I feel like you know the person. Some of you may even understand what this energy is. So we have the four of cups for some of you. And then we have, this is nine of wands defending yourself. I think some of you are dealing with some type of competition. Somebody is feeling insecure or they're feeling less than four of cups sometimes to me is like somebody not using their skill set or their talents to the best of their ability or not feeling like they are, like they have any skills or talents that are beneficial to them. So for some of you, you might be dealing with something with insecurity where you're looking at other people and it's like, okay, what do they have that I don't have? Or this could be, why is this person competing with me? Like, why are they even in the same arena with me right now? But the crown is on top of them. So for some of you, you might be challenged, um, this month where it's like, okay, I need to step my game up because I'm in competition with someone. Like I said, your eye is on top of this person. So you're seeing something the way that it needs to be seen. It's not like this is, <clears throat> excuse me, sneaking up on you. You're actually seeing what the competition is for some of you. It's going to make you rise to that next level. It's because I got to come out on top. I got to get my crown back now. In the health heart, some of you, definitely there could be something with dealing with depression, insecurity, because I feel like somebody is unmotivated. Like I'm still trying to get it together or, you know, we're going into the colder weather. Some of you might have seasonal depression that you're dealing with. I do get um, a lot of emotional stuff that's going on. So if you find yourself just crying for no reason, it could be that something is triggering you. I, it could be a purge of energy, could be a purge of emotions. This competition could have set something up where you're sitting up there and you're not feeling um, good or you're feeling overly emotional. And we have this here too for some of you, and this is kind of going into your family. 
So this could be somebody in your family that's comparing you to somebody or either somebody is doing something that's just making you feel a little bit out of sorts or even overly emotional. The head is there. This could be headaches. This also could be going to therapy, like venting or trying to connect with whatever this stuff is. Some of you, there's definitely an overabundance of emotions. Ten of Wands, we got somebody that feels burdened. It's like I feel burdened with some things. This could be legal situation. This could be with a marriage or a divorce. This could be, it is crossing over into your money. So there may be some type of court case or something that you're having to deal with. You could be in the military. You could be um, law enforcement or in the justice. And maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed by your environment right now. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a legal fight. And that could be where therapy and the emotions are coming in. I am getting also some eyesight stuff. So if you typically wear glasses and then you're realizing that the glasses aren't doing it anymore, it may be time to go in for that checkup. And Lord knows I'm sitting over here looking out one eye trying to focus. So for some, this is like, okay, yeah, I do need to go ahead and get my checkup in. 2025, what your anchor is showing, 2025 is a better stability year for you guys. And I mean, we're at the end of the year now. But it looks like that you have something that is opening up that brings in more stability and a little bit more success for you and money. So we have something coming in with the anchor. We have the Kyrie shell. We have the badge. We have 2025 in the upright. And this could be something that is giving more stability. The good luck sector shows money coming in. Some of you could be teachers. You could be networkers. You could be growing your business that way. You can be some type of consultant. Um, I do see some travel coming in for some of you with work. There's some delays. So make sure that your stuff is checked, you know, your paperwork and everything. Some of you, I feel like that there's going to be a relocation, um, to a different state, city, or country because there's more financial gain, um, there, but there's delays on it. So it's almost like you're traveling towards stability, but some of you are delaying it. Maybe there's a little bit of overthinking. There also could be, what am I going to do when I get to this destination? It is showing in your money sector, which means for some of you, this relocation or this travel is beneficial. Now, you could be a flight attendant. You could be a pilot. You could be somebody that, uh, like I said, consultant that travels for work. But it is showing some type of stability that comes in with travel for you. And 2025 looks like more of a stable year, especially with finances. Um some of you, you have evil eye energy and there is the moon upside down. And this is a group one, two, three, four, five. Some of you may have fallen out with a group. This could be with work. It is crossing over into your family. Family could be uh, adopted, biological, spiritual. This could be people that you work with. This could even be your friends group. Uh, it looks like that there's a female that may be starting some type of confusion, trying to connect with a group of people. Um, I don't feel like that it's going to get far. We have the skull and crossbow on top of this person, which could be somebody who is just trying to start some type of, uh, problem for jealousy or just control with the energy. And I think spirit was warning you up here, evil eye energy, bullet casing, conflict coming in. You definitely see it on female energy. Some of you could be dealing with a female because we saw this energy over here too, competition. Whether you're a male or a female, you might have somebody with feminine energy that comes back into the picture to be a thorn in your side. Or maybe this person never was out of the picture. This could be somebody that maybe you looked at and you didn't think of them as competition and now they're showing as competition. If this was somebody that you previously had some competition with, I feel like that this person is coming back in to stir up some type of problem. So there's some issue with female energy, feminine energy. I do see a new job that's coming in. I also see something with school, possibly completing school. Ten of Pentacles is under it. So it could be education brings in more money. This could be teaching. This could be taking classes. This could be getting certified in something. But it is showing education opens something up. Now, for some of you, we have the bloom, we have the lucky clover, we have the, tr the butterfly transformation is coming in. 
if you belong to an organization or a job, some of you are like, okay, I've outgrown it. It's not working for me. Let me move on. Let me move on to something else because it looks like that there's another opportunity with a new job that comes in. Some of you might be sharing knowledge. You're making money off of it, or you're going back to school and you're completing some type of degree program certification that brings in more money. I am see, seeing you being watched. Some of you, you might be on LinkedIn or some other uh, job networking sites because it looks like that you're being watched. Now, for some of you, this job may take you somewhere else, different city, different state, different country. So I do feel like be open to something that brings in some type of financial upswing for you. Now, the purse is in the middle, which is not good. It's upside down, which this is money loss. This is conflict. And then we have the moon not seeing things the way that we need to see them. Sometimes this is like swiping that card, click, click, click. And then at the end of the month, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, my bank account is empty. I only have $5 in the bank account. And then you shocked because you only have $5 in the bank account because you're not managing the money. Some of you need to be very careful because it's almost like you're, you're blocking out you know, or blacking out. Like, did I do that? Did I, you know, and sometimes too, I'll be doing that shit sometimes. I ain't going to even lie. I'll be looking at it. And of course you have that part where it's pending, where they haven't taken the money out quite yet. Or you still see that, that figure in the, in the account when it says pending. And it's like, Oh, I still have $90 because <laughs> they haven't completely taken it out. But of course pending means, yeah, the money is gone. Y'all. So I don't know. Some of y'all definitely, uh, you're trying to hide an addiction. And I think for some of you, this is a, a shopping addiction. This is Amazon. This is buying unnecessary things because I feel like I need it. Some of this is emotional. This could be like DoorDash and Uber Eats, or I'm going shopping just to make myself feel better. So be careful with that because it is attached to emotion. If you've been having problems with family, I feel like that there is something that's going to get better and it starts with communication. So it could be talking something out. Some of you are, there's a reconciliation with family. There's also some type of seeing somebody else in a different light. So if you've been having these back and forth with this person, it may be like, okay, now I don't know. I see you a little bit differently, or I understand why you're doing what you're doing or why certain things happen, which is good. There's some type of maturity that's coming in with a relationship that needs to be mended because it can. Some of you, I feel like that there's this wanderlust of wanting to travel, but the money is not there. Um, some of you are not as busy as you want to be, and that could be affecting your money. But there is a job opportunity that's coming in. Some of you could be connecting with a friend um, to maybe collab on something, whether this is a business idea or a project. Um, I feel like for some of you, this with the eyes, this could be social media, putting yourself out there. Maybe you're hiring a friend to be, uh, your manager for your, your TikTok or your Facebook because it's looking like connecting with somebody with communication brings in 10 of pentacles for you. And the eyes make me think that that's social media, Aquarius. Because we got the eyes here and then we got the king of pentacles, money coming in. Connecting with people that have money. Also could be job, what do you call them? Um, recruiters. So some of you, you might have a skill set or something that you are developing. Now, remember over here, we saw somebody not using their skill set, but then we have education and we have a new job, which means that for some of you, you might be getting a job where it's like, oh, I'm not qualified. I can't do it. But really you can, because you already have people that are looking at you that want to bring you in. You just got to get in there and do the job. For some of you, there's on the job training or some type of assistance that's going to help you connect with this. For some of you, you already have this knowledge. You just got to use it. I will say there is some type of recovery with health. If you've been having some problems with your health, um, be careful of somebody just pulling your money from you. The skeleton hand is there 
which is somebody trying to take something away. Like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Now, this is with travel, but it kind of crosses over a little bit into family. If you're going on a trip with family or somebody that, you know, you are normally traveling with, this could be a friend that you see as family and it's like, oh, you know, I don't have money. Can you pay for lunch today? Or can you go ahead and pay for this excursion or whatever? This could be somebody that's getting some money off of you. This could also, like I say, General Reed be somebody that's like, okay, every time we go out, I got to pay for you. Somebody could be throwing something away. I don't feel, some of you definitely are looking at the finance financial aspect, but you have what you need to actually increase your finances. Like I said, for some, there's money management that needs to be dealt with. There's emotional stuff that needs to be dealt with, but 2025 looks like it brings in more stability. And I think for some of you, it's because I'm tired of being in this situation. You know, I think when you get past 30, you start really looking at life and being like, shit, I'm supposed to be in this position. I'm supposed to have this. And I, I'm going to say, give yourself grace because you know, the world has been kind of crazy the last five years, um, four years. Well, shit, five. So for some of you, you're still trying to catch up. You're still trying to catch up. That could be where the therapy thing is coming in too. Like I got to get my head right. Because I'm not living the life that I want to. You know, it's nothing worse than getting to 50 and then being like, shit, you know, I, I should have a house now. I should have this and that. But maybe you don't want to have the house. Maybe your priority is something else. So I think don't get too caught up in what you think other people have and you don't have because maybe that's not the path for you. But I do feel like you do need to focus. Definitely feel like you need to focus. Some of you, you might have put a relationship or something before stability and there's stress there now it is showing being inflexible with love now for some people it's either or i can work or i can be in love but i can't do both then too some of you might have fallen in love or connected with somebody that they're not flexible they might not be pouring into you so it could be that i was trying to connect but we got trickster energy and it's crossing over to get spell work. So it's almost like I called somebody, or no, it's crossing over, I'm sorry, into love. It's almost like I called somebody into my life, but they're tricky. So you might have been trying to manifest a relationship, but then you're realizing this person checks off a lot of boxes, but they're they're tricky. They don't, they're, you know, they're making something harder. And then we got that double head over here. So it could be definitely that you're reevaluating something with someone. The good spell work and the luck we have money upside down. This might not be the month to play the lotto, especially if you don't feel lucky. Clouds are on top of your luck, which means there's no clarity. I do see a lot of networking that brings in money with luck. So this could be like I'm meeting the right person at the right time at the right place. Now, we do have demon head on top of the handcuffs. And then we have nine of pentacles on top of the witch's hat, which is manifestation. So we have maybe entrepreneurship, but there's stress there. Some of you could be starting some type of business. You could be really working on your independence, but it's like, I'm stressed out. I got to do this by myself. Some of you, the demon is on top of the handcuffs, which could be that you've been bound by something. It's like, I haven't really been able to move or pivot the way I want. And then it looks like some of you are manifesting more money, more independence, entrepreneurship, but there is a lot of stress on top of it. So it could be like, be careful what you wish for. Are you ready for this? I feel like you are. You might have this demon head over here, somebody who's talking to you and it's like, do you really want to try that? Do you really want to go in that direction? I feel like some of you are really trying to fight for some type of independence. There's something with standing your ground or your vertebrae. Now, this could be a people pleaser. Like, I don't want people to be upset with me. I want to be independent, but I don't want people not to like me. Some of you, the vertebrae is like you really need to stand your ground with something, especially when it comes to independence. But the butterfly is there, which is showing some type of transformation. Witch's hat is in the upright, which means something that you're manifesting is going to challenge you to stand your ground and actually prioritize what you're trying to do. And for some of you, you're going to have to be flexible with this change because it's coming. 
We have opportunities. For some, there's a contract. This could be with this new job. Some of you, um, the sword is right there. So please read over the contract before you sign it. Don't take anything in that you don't understand because I feel like that there is some type of contract for some of you. This could be with the job. Some, it could be with real estate or, uh, cohabitating, but I get some shadiness with that. So if you are moving in with somebody, male or female, make sure you're not going to get fucked at the end of that. There's a lot of people that go in with stuff where they're in love and they're sharing everything and until they're not. And then there's a fight over who gets the house, who gets the cat, who can, you know, who gets the dog, like just the craziness of it. So if you're cohabitating, you might want to go ahead and go into a contract with that. I know it's not romantic, but in some states, it might save you from having to walk away with nothing. I keep getting the energy of be careful of trusting um, people when it comes to contracts or signing paperwork because they're not looking out for your best interest. Some of you, they just aren't looking out for your best interest. Somebody is a little bit tricky. Aquarius, one more time, spirit. All right, let's see. So we have five of swords in the reverse, ending a relationship and regrets, termination. So that could have been what we saw over here where somebody's like, look, I'm walking away. And it could have something to do with this devil head. Somebody who's stubborn, they're spicy. Um, there's a control aspect to this person. Let's see. Seven of swords, Steph lost, sneaking away, underhanded. Mmm. Some of y'all caught somebody that you were dealing with doing some shady shit. It's like, you know, I regret I met you. I didn't even know you were like this. Maybe they weren't always the devil head though. Kind of goes back to the contracts and stuff. And I kept feeling that too, before even looking at these cards. It's like somebody's trying to get over on Aquarius. So we have, um, sneaking energy. If you ever seen the seven of swords cards, Google it. It's tip, it's a man with seven swords and he's tiptoeing away with the swords because he doesn't want people to know what he's doing. Now we saw the moon in reverse and I felt like something is going to come to light because something is being hidden. Could be for some of you that somebody is trying to get the upper hand in a contract. There may be something with money. Um, there also could be that somebody is trying to talk to somebody else or, they're trying to uh, get something over, take, get something over on you. Six of Pentacles, we got coveting. This could be wanting something else. And then we got feeling cheated, envy, sinking finances too. Some of you could be ending a relationship because somebody was sneaking and doing something. They were trying to take, get something else. Coveting is wanting what somebody else has. Now, could this be somebody that was trying to steal from you because of something that you have? Could it be that you were in a relationship and there is this, this energy that is trying to steal something away from the relationship? Three of swords. Three of swords could be a, t a cheating card. It's showing somebody is kind of going into a little bit of seclusion because of hurt. And it's like, I need to heal. Um, so this could be somebody that found out something that just made them feel uncomfortable. Almost to the point where it's like, I need to take a step back and really figure out what I'm trying to do. Some of you definitely could have had somebody that took something away from you that you trusted this person and you didn't think they were doing it. The ending or termination of a relationship and then regrets because something was stolen or somebody was being sneaky, coveting, somebody wanting something else or either wanting something that you had. Some of you, I'm wondering if this could be like a friend or somebody that tried to talk to your person and you're just like, I can't even believe this. Cause we have the thief, a relationship is ending because somebody tried to steal something away. 
The good thing is with the three of swords in reverse, this is like I'm healing. I'm releasing sorrow and I'm trying to recover from it. So queen of swords in the upright, queen, independent, tough talking, straight talking. So we have queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And it's like, I need to take a step back and, and really work on myself. Healing card is on top of it. Oh, and then we got the knight of wands. I'm moving. Looking at new properties. Eight of wands. Acceleration, travel, movement, action. Could be messages that are coming in. Some of you are looking at a house, looking at apartments. Like I said, some of you might be moving to another place because you're remodeling. You also may have uh, got a house or something that you're trying to Airbnb or something um, to that fact. But for some of you, it's like I'm walking away from something because I found something out about somebody that was being sneaky. I had the sinking feeling something was off. And then we have seclusion. Let me let me just pull back and think about what's going on. And then Queen of Swords comes in with full energy. Making a decision. I'm out. I'm moving on. I'm calling people. I'm looking at things. But I'm moving on. Knight of Wands is a fast energy. King of Cups in reverse could be a player. Somebody that's playing games. We have a scandal, taking advantage of somebody, abusive energy. Could be somebody just playing with somebody's mind, playing with their energy. For some of you, if this is somebody that you work with, it could be that, you know, you go to work and you're like, oh my God, I got to, this person is constantly trying to steal my ideas and I got to smile in their face and act like everything is cool. This could even be somebody doing this to you. Like, I'm just going to smile in Aquarius' face and make them think everything is good. But I feel like that some of you already see something is off. Don't um, discount your feelings this month, Aquarius. You you guys are very intuitive. So I feel like that if, if Spirit is telling you to slow down and look at something, there's a reason that they're telling you, yes, high priestess, intuition in the upright, higher wisdom listening to higher powers but we have the knight of swords headstrong a lack of thought so it's almost like spirit is like okay we're showing you something but aquarius is like mm, i don't want to see it i'm gonna do what i want to do anyway i don't want to see it no, that's cool if you don't want to see it but then we get the page of swords in reverse and we have immaturity problems with communication deceptive energy somebody's lying so for some of you you're dealing with somebody that you know ain't no good you know they lying you know they playing games they're trying to take something away from you um or either they already have you may have given this person a chance you may have worked on this project with them and you know they fucked up on that last project and tried to take credit but it's like let me give them another chance um to see if they're gonna do it again i don't know why air signs do that because typically we, we will. And then once we really get our backs against the wall, once we cut you off, that's it. Like don't, I, there's people that I, I pass them every day and I don't even make eye contact with them. Cause in my mind, they don't exist because I've cut them off. But there was a point where I gave them one, two, three chances to redeem themselves. And I, I felt like at this point, you're just being an idiot, but then it's not, they're just being an idiot. They're just being who they are. That's what they want to be. So some of you could be dealing with an abusive energy that you have given a chance. You don't, you're headstrong for some reason. And this might just be for you. I don't want to admit that I fucked up. So I'm going to give this person another chance to see if they correct it. But this person already played in your face. I think that's why you started off with the termination. Because it was, you got pissed off enough that it's like, I want to walk away. Now, we do have deception and then the magician coming in. Now, is the magician good at this situation or are they bad? Looks like it's a good energy. This is manifestation, which is good because it's in the upright. So it's like, okay, somebody did me dirty. I regret that I connected with this person or I even did this deal with them or whatever. I'm moving forward. I ain't really want, trying to talk to them. And then this, this energy over here where you're kind of second guessing that. 
And then they come back in and they say something that's just like, uh huh. <laughs> and you decide, I'm manifesting a new beginning. And then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, and this is a new opportunity. Four of Wands, victory, success, triumph. You're moving towards something that's new for you, that's opening up something. And why Knight of Pentacles, inflexible, stubborn, disliking change. So I feel like you're leaving somebody behind because they're, like I told you, they're too controlling or they're too stubborn to actually really get it. Page of Wands, we got a message that comes in, fiery, high energy. And what is this? In reverse, Three of Cups, um, untrustworthy friends, a loss of a group, or withdrawn from an energy. So it could be somebody, remember where we saw multiple people? I'm, I'm wondering if the slander gets to some people in your family or your friends group, and then all of a sudden, that's the punishment for walking away from this, is that I am going to infect your your group so that none of them want to deal with you. The thing about it is Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is materialism. This is um, being greedy sometimes. This is like, you know, needing to make money, but not wanting to do it the right way. Some of you, I feel like that somebody's attached to you because there's money that they can get from you, which could be what the contract is. And that's just for a few of you. Some of you, it, there's this energy of, they could even be making people think, oh, I gave Aquarius money or I helped Aquarius out. I feel like it's more like that energy. Mm-hmm. King of Swords in reverse, though. And that's not a good energy. It's not. Somebody makes you get in a real negative energy. And it's because of gossip, I believe. There's a message that comes in, and we have with untrustworthy friends a loss of a group because something that's said. And somebody could be like, you know, Aquarius took all my money. I had to help them do this and da-da-da. Or I'm the one that really did the project, blah, blah, blah. Manipulation with that Knight of Cups. And then we get conflict with that Five of Wands, bickering, pettiness, judgment in the upright, looking at something the way it is, injustice, fairness, logic. You are going to get a better outcome because people are going to know that this person is lying or they're trying to cause problems for you. But it looks like that for some of you, that devil head may not have been a devil when you first connected with the energy and then they turned into a devil head. So I feel like some of you are dealing with an energy of you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt, trust them, and they kind of played themselves. They showed themselves. You may have turned your head. So let's see. Environment. Now is a good time to clear, clean, and declutter your environment. For some of you, though, this is a move. I'm moving on. Universal mind, you are about to receive the solution to your problem. Judgment. Hmm. You're being asked to let go of all judgments and forgive those who have judged you. So spirit is like, just cut it tough love it's time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding mm. so something is coming out and somebody is going to have to be honest about it and i think the honesty is going to cause a problem with a relationship let's see i want to pull a couple of them and see where it's leading you to Let's see, surrender, release and surrender all control and let nature take its course. Some of you, there's something that comes out that you have to deal with and spirit is like, just let it, just give into it. Let it happen because it looks like it needs to come out. Support team, you're going to be supported by either people around you or your spirits around you. Um, and some of you, you're just moving on. 
you're definitely you're moving on there's benefit though there's increase so for some you may be feeling like i'm walking away from something that i thought i was going to have a job a relationship some of you be really careful that you're not putting up with stuff because you're looking for some type of approval or a pat on the head from somebody you kind of keep coming back to that obsession is on top of that energy of i want people to love me be careful of that energy because you could be attracting in a negative energy that's trying to play you or use you and that's not beneficial to you at all and you have a sword so you might be really sweet until they make you you know sometimes i've seen aquarius turn into some nasty energy because somebody played in their face one too many times and it's always bad because y'all lose that 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 wonderlust type of thing or the fairies and the, the y'all lose that I mean, it's nothing wrong with getting a little, you know, getting your sword out and doing a little shoot, 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 shoot if you have to. Just don't let somebody change you into something that you don't want to be. Because I feel like that may happen in a situation where it's like I've given you a chance or I've worked with you, especially if they steal money from you or they steal property from you or for some of you, if they even steal your heart and fuck over at Aquarius. You're going to be okay, though. I love you guys.